Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestion.com. Uh, today we'll see one important interview question asked for three to eight years of experience. It is very important interview question as well as one of one of important topic in garbage collection. What is this? Can we force garbage collector in Java? Can we force garbage collector in Java? So first, before going to how to force the garbage collector in Java. First, we'll be having few questions, and we'll answer those question, and we'll see how to force the garbage collector in Java. So the first question is when garbage collector will run in Java. So we need to know when garbage collector will run in Java, and why we need to force the garbage collector in Java. So the answer is garbage collector will run whenever it is low in memory. So in order to uh, overcome the or avoid the out of memory error in java garbage collector what it will do is it will free the memory by deleting the unused objects from the heap memory so at that moment garbage collector will run but uh, it's not an uh, guarantee that every time the garbage collector will run whenever the memory is uh, out when it, when it is overflow with uh, memory so what we need to do at that time can we force garbage collector in java so there is no guarantee that when garbage collector will run and we cannot predict when garbage collector is going to run so the next step is can we force garbage collector in java absolutely no we cannot force garbage collector in java but we can make a request to the garbage collector in java we can make a request to the garbage collector in java so how to request garbage collector in java so we have a java dot lang dot system class which has a static method called gc that attempts to run the garbage collector so we have a system dot gc method in system class which attempts to run the garbage collector at the again at the same time the system dot uh, gc cannot uh, is in just a request to the garbage collector again it is not a guarantee that garbage collector will run we can make a request and jvm can ignore the request or accept the request it depends on the jvm so we can only make a request to the garbage collector we cannot force a garbage collector so we have a method called system.gc the equivalent method to the system.gc is runtime.getruntime.gc method these are also these are the only two methods that communicate with uh, garbage collector in java api so and the last question is will garbage collector definitely run after making the request no gc method does not guarantee anything the program can only request the garbage collection but there is no way that garbage collection can be forced okay we can just make a request to the garbage collector but we cannot force the garbage collector let's see with the help of an example how to request the garbage collector process to run Here we have a class called GC demo, and uh, I have created a main method inside it. And first, I am taking a string variable, string one equals to hello world, and then what I am doing is I am calling. Runtime RT equals to runtime dot get runtime. I'll explain you what this runtime will do. So, so first, what I am doing is I am printing this value one, and then I am calling. I am printing. I am writing a statement called before freeing memory. So now I am calling runtime dot sorry RT dot get total memory. Sorry RT dot total memory. So first what this will do is returns the total amount of memory in the JVM. So RT dot total memory will do. It will give the total memory in the JVM, and then the 
now what i am doing is i am calling rt dot free memory and what this will do is we'll see this free memory it returns the amount of free memory in the java virtual machine and whenever we call the gc method this may increase the value returned by the free memory okay this will this free method memory this free memory method is useful to know the total free memory available in the jvm whenever we call system dot gc method what this will do is it will increase this free memory so actually i took one variable called hello world and i'm printing the one so what i'm doing is after using that variable i'm explicitly setting the value 1 to null so since this one value is uh, null it is pointing nowhere actually it should be garbage collected okay so now again i'm calling total memory and free memory and i am changing the statement to after freeing memory after freeing memory so actually now what after explicitly setting this value to the null what it needs to garbage collector will run that uh, actually garbage call jvm should run the garbage collector and it should delete the unused variable from memory which is unused variable here one so let's see whether garbage collector is going to run or not so now i am running the method running as java application yeah if you see here before freeing memory 1625298 and after freeing memory total memory remains same even before freeing memory the free memory is 1595692 and after setting the value to null also the free memory is same so what we can understand here is here the garbage collector didn't run at all so that is the reason the free memory remains same even after explicitly setting the value to null why the garbage collector didn't run because because the memory is not running low so garbage collector when it will run when it is running only when it is low so but if you want to make an explicit request to the garbage collector what we can do we can call system dot gc method or runtime dot get runtime dot gc method ha here i am using system dot gc method so after explicitly setting the value to the null i am calling the garbage collector this statement will call the garbage collector and this will free the memory so now we'll run the program and see whether it frees the memory or not by call whenever we call the system dot gc method now i am calling run as java application yeah now we'll see before freeing the memory this is the value one total memory is 1625298 before calling the request to the gc total memory is 1625292928 and the free memory is 1595692 but after calling the system dot gc method the total memory got increased and uh, 1625 2928 here 1631864 so after calling system dot gc method it removes all the unwanted uh, un unused variables from the memory even if you see the after freeing memory the free memory also got reduced 1608 Uh, sorry free memory also got increased earlier it was 1595692 now it was 1608560 this how we can make a request to the garbage collector hope you guys understand the video thanks for watching my video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos thanks for watching this video